Welcome to ChatToolTester.com. In this video, I will explain what live chat support is exactly and how you can use it on your website. What you see here is a chat widget. When your website visitor clicks it, it will expand and he or she can start asking questions. This works only when an operator is actually online. If not, you can either hide the widget or transform it into a contact form that your visitors can use to send you an email. When your visitor starts the chat, you will receive an instant message. With Olark, for example, it will look like this. The chat request goes to your instant messenger. With Zopim, you can also use a web-based client to talk to your customers. As you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. But you don't actually have to wait for your visitors to start messaging you. Based on their activity on your website, or based on the pages they have viewed, you can proactively initiate chats. Let me show you what that looks like. You pick an interesting visitor, start the chat, and just like in a retail store, not all customers want or need your help, but the fact that you just offered your help goes a very long way. You can even use live chat as a team and transfer your visitors from one agent to another, depending on who is able to assist your client in the best way possible. The reason why live chat is so powerful is because a lot of times customers decide to leave a website or an online store because they were unsure about something and there was no one to ask. Many people don't want to use their phone or simply can't because they're at work. Email usually takes too long. Using live chat, you can now answer all those questions instantly and convert your visitors into customers. Setting up live chat is very easy, literally only taking a few minutes. Just add a piece of code to your website and you're done. To find out if live chat is the right solution for your business, please check out chattooltester.com. There, you can not only find reviews of the best providers, but we also talk about pros and cons, as well as the best practices while using live chat. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate if you could share it on Facebook or like it on YouTube.